Hello. And welcome back to Just RP. So in the last episode, we talked to a couple people, including Rothic Braun, as well as Leo Larson, to set up a couple supply lines for some materials we may need during our, uh, you know, our getaway driver business. We set up a little bit of a supply line for uh, different bank cards or different group six cards that we might need for jewelry stores, for banks, for trucks, for all that stuff. We set up a little bit of a supply line for that. And then we also set up a little bit of a supply line for when we need cars for either actual legit stunts that we do for people and or uh you know when we do some more heist type stuff we were getaway driving uh i talked to leo and we set up a little bit of a supply line for cars for us to be able to you know uh borrow or rent out from him and uh, be able to use for again both stunts and jobs and today i think we have one more step before we begin the hiring process now i do want to uh, obviously start the hiring process and everything but uh i do want to make sure that i have all of the stuff i need for the trials that i have in mind for these drivers because again i want a wide plethora of different tests for them uh to make sure that they are you know the perfect candidates i want these people to be like pretty pretty uh pretty well-rounded people honestly again it's going to be mostly a getaway driving company but our, our drivers should basically be um jacks of all trades they should know how to talk themselves out of a situation they should know how to shoot a bit they should know how to drive obviously um so we're going to do a lot of tests to make sure these people are really really good and again uh, i kind of want this whole getaway driver company to not just be you know getaway drivers but more kind of you know agents kind of a little bit but uh we will definitely see but i think today what we're gonna do is first of all get some supply of oxy since we have literally no oxy and not really many people in town seem to be selling it i haven't been able to find any good suppliers and then also maybe purchase a couple heavy heavy pistols as well as maybe an AP pistol or two uh from probably the Aztecos we'll go to since we have some good relationships with Rico so maybe he'll give us a good deal uh and just you know get a couple more weapons into our stash so we're able to you know let our drivers use them or again for some of the tests I have an idea with some of the guns that I want guns for so uh, we're definitely going to need a couple of those so I think today we're going to stock up so first of all we're going to go ahead over to the oxy spot again I have not been there in a while so I'm gonna have to do a little of a refresher I believe it's up north on uh, route 60 if i remember correctly so i think we're gonna go head up there and do some oxy deliveries um i believe we need like 500 dollars to start it but i think there is an atm across the street so we're gonna go up there uh, again grab somebody out of the atm start our oxy runs and i think we're just gonna do like maybe like an hour's worth of oxy runs and see how much oxy we get and then also do the math and figure out how much people are selling oxy for see if it's worth just buying it instead of actually grinding it out ourselves uh, but either way i want to do about an hour of oxy runs let me show you guys actually once we're up there starting it see what car we get at least and uh, yeah i'll see you guys once we're up in route 68 starting the oxy job Alrighty, so I grabbed about $1,500 in cash. We're up to about $1,600 on us at the moment. Uh, and the main reason, again, that I want to do this oxy run for about an hour or so, just probably yeah, an hour to do a little bit of a test with it, is so I know, one, uh, what the oxy price should be that we're paying, as well as I know if I'm getting ripped off, or uh, I can kind of figure out if it's worth the deal when we're buying oxy from people. And then, two, just see if it's worth doing it on our own instead of having to pay people for it. Okay, so $1,500 for the delivery job, oxy and cash. And then we should get a stolen car. We got the worst one, a Granger. Damn it. But uh, it will still work. It will still work. And I'm going to go do these deliveries for about an hour. Uh, again, I'll cut back probably if we run out of deliveries to do and we have to restart the job. So that's another $1,500. We have to factor that in, of course. But I'm going to go do these oxy runs for about an hour. See what we get. And this will kind of give us an idea, again, of what we should be paying for oxy. Or if it's worth to just run it ourselves instead of uh, paying people for it. But either way, again, I'm going to go do oxy for about an hour. I'll see you guys then uh, again. Thankfully, you guys don't have to go through this whole process with me. This is going to be quite the boring one. But uh, either way, I'm going to go run this up for about an hour. And I will see you guys once we're done. Alrighty. So it seems like we are done off our first run. It took about 15 minutes. It seemed like we got about 7 Oxy. So 7 Oxy. And again, we spent about $1,500. So we should be paying again around like... 200 ish maybe a little bit more so around, i'd say 250 including the amount of time we spent per oxy uh now i might want to do the uh, probably like another two or three runs to just you know double check it and make sure that uh it's like going to be probably around seven for each run that we do because i noticed that every single time we didn't get oxy sometimes we would sometimes we wouldn't uh, and then i also want to do out the math of how much money we got because after we spent that 1500 i believe we had around 160 in our bank and then every time we did a delivery they gave me around 100 dollars 
so we okay so we spent around i would say 900 dollars and or around 500 or 600 dollars i mean my bad since we spent 1500 and we got about 900 back so we spent around 600 dollars and we got seven oxy and we also spent around 15 minutes of our time so i guess you could say every oxy should be worth around 100 maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less uh again but that's without including the amount of time it takes for you to do the whole entire run so i would say yeah around 100 to 200 probably per oxy is what i should be paying now i do again want to do another couple runs for because i want to finish this whole hour and kind of see how much we get and see how much we paid for so i think what i'm gonna do is go do another run or two i'm gonna have to grab another 500 dollars from our bank but i'll definitely note down that we spent 600 dollars so far uh, uh, or at least that's how much money you know that we had total spent uh not including or including the money that we got back so i think what we're gonna do is go head back up north i'm gonna go do a couple more runs of this uh again just until our hour is up of time and see how much we get from that hour and see how much we paid and see how much we got back um from the obviously the dealers when they give you some money back so i'm gonna go do that for again the next probably 45 minutes or so see what we get we'll probably finish whatever run we're on if we are stuck on the last one though but uh, either way, I'm going to go back up north, start the Oxy run again. I'm going to go do it. Also, the I forgot to factor in uh, the car we get because sometimes we can get a Karuma or a slightly faster car. And that will obviously make the deliveries a little bit faster. But uh, overall, I'm going to go back up north. We're going to go do a couple more Oxy runs. And then I'll catch up with you guys, see what happens, see how much money, again, we paid and made. And then, of course, how much Oxy we got, of course. Either way, though, uh, I will see you guys in just about 45 minutes for me. No time for you guys once we're done with all of these Oxy runs and, you know, looking a bit over the results. So I'll see you guys again in just a little bit. All righty. So I just finished up. It's been about an hour total. Uh, and I did a little bit of math. Uh, also, we ended up with, of course, 19 total. Uh, so I did a little bit of math. I was doing a little bit of calculations, you know, in between the runs, you know, timing out how long it took, as well as how much money we ended up paying because of the money we got back. And then also how much oxy we got per run. So the first run that we did, we paid around $600. We got seven oxy and it took us about 15 minutes. The second run that we had, we paid about $350 dollars we got five oxy and it took us around 20 minutes and then for the last one that we just completed it took about 500 dollars and took and we got about seven oxy from it and it took around 20 minutes as well so all in all pretty good stuff honestly we got a little bit of a better idea of uh, of course the cost that we should be paying for oxy as well as how hard it is to actually do the job itself uh, if we want to of course we're gonna have to head back up north to get our car either way since it's up there but uh, as we're heading back up north let's talk a little bit because i think again we're gonna call rico up and see if we can maybe set up an arms supplier from him uh actually we'll call him up right now i'm not sure if he's in town but we might as well see give him a little call if not i'll just cut back in a sec let's see if we can get him all right so it's like rico is not in town at the moment he didn't pick up at least but i think we're going to be hitting him up later see if he can become our gun connect once again we don't really have one at the moment hopefully he can give us some decent prices on it as well so this car is freaking pretty damn good but uh, i'm gonna go back grab my car i think we're gonna go drop off this 19 oxy back at our house again oxy is really really useful uh especially when you know you're gonna be getting into some fights because of course i believe it stops bleeding as well as heals you pretty fast i'm not sure if it gives armor uh screw it we're gonna test it out once let's test it out once see if it gives armor i'm not sure if it does uh... okay it does not give armor yeah it doesn't give armor for sure but it will stop bleeding and i believe it heals you a lot more than bandages so it's really good that we can't keep that on us although i think if you take too many you can get addicted to it which is not going to be good of course but i'm going to go drop off this 18 oxy that we have now uh wait a little bit see when rico's in town then give him a call or i'm going to keep texting him or whatever from now uh and then see if we can hopefully set up a little meeting with rico then i guess we'll cut back once we're having our meeting with rico setting up again hopefully an arms dealer for us we're probably going to purchase like three heavies or maybe like two ap's and a heavy from as well to show them that we're serious either way though i will see you guys once we are talking to rico hopefully picking up a little bit more heavy duty firearms <laughs> god damn it <sighs> don't like the purple no nah, hell no i don't like the purple man <laughs> What's up, Rico? How you been? It's been a sec. 
been a little minute. Yeah, I've been pretty good. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Um, so I wanted to talk to you because you know I have the whole uh, getaway thing that I've been trying to get going for a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, so I was looking and see. Uh, you know I don't really have anyone to go to for uh, <clears throat> a little bit heavier weaponry so i was uh you know feeling i would think talk to you you know and see uh see what maybe your prices are if we could talk about that maybe a little bit um so i haven't done the math in a long time to be honest but <laughs> okay, before okay. the like inflation in the materials i think it was about seventeen thousand to, to craft you know like a heavy pistola okay okay uh, with the inflation, I'm not too sure, but I can for sure like get the get all the materials that you need and you know do the math on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how do you sell any at the moment, or can we set something up maybe so uh, if I need weapons in the future, I can just come to you and get them, you know? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay. So I was looking to like maybe right pick now, up but... like four-ish heavy pistols tonight, and then uh, kind of go from there, you know. And then uh, down the line, you know, obviously I can just call you up for supplies and such. Maybe we can set something up. Yeah, no, for sure. We can definitely set that up. If you have an order of four, I could probably get that to you uh, by the end of the night for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then honestly, I just want to be able to set up kind of a supply line if you. So my boys, you know, when I finally you know get some boys, uh, they can just come to you and uh, you know just pick them up easily whenever they need, if possible. Okay, we can do that. Uh, so you want to do like a little math, and then maybe we can meet up and talk prices or something. Yeah, for sure okay 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 because i want to get up again like a little a uh, little bulk order to start off with just like four or five or whatever you got and then okay. obviously down the line maybe uh you know i only go to you for my weapons and such maybe you give me a little a uh, little off you know that really sounds good man yeah okay, we can definitely okay. set something up uh you want to uh like figure out some prices and such and then uh give me a call all right for sure yeah i'll go do the map and shit real quick uh give me a call man i'm uh, i'll be around right, for a bit all right take care take care sure. Alrighty, I think that's gonna be about it for right now. Oh my, he's locked picking the freaking ballers car. Um, but I think it's gonna be about it for right now. Rico is gonna go, I believe, uh, do some pricing for us, and then we're, he's gonna hit us up, and we're hopefully going to get the supply line of weapons figured out. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, so it's been a couple hours. I have no idea where Rico went. Apparently, I talked to some guys in GSF, and I think they might be at war again with the Aztecas. So uh, that might Rico might be a little bit busy for a little while. So we might honestly either one get a new gun dealer. Uh, I'm not just sure. Again, any people who really deal with guns too much besides Rico. That's why, of course, we talked to him. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to find a new gun dealer, I think. Um, again, maybe we can still get Rico as a gun dealer. But again, with this war going on, I'm guessing he's gonna, you know, gonna need the guns for himself for quite a while. So uh, we might not be able to uh, really get him as a gun dealer right away. We might have to find someone else for the meantime since he's in war. But uh, for now, what I think we are going to do to end off this episode, I know this was a very, very short episode, but uh, again, I was hoping to, you know, set up that gun connect. But again, we will hopefully do that in the future once we find someone else. But again, we're gonna have to take a little time for that as well but what i do want to test out is i had actually made a hacking kit which i made a little bit ago um today which is made at the same exact spot that i made the usb devices at and i'm not sure if this is like a special thing or if it's similar to the usb devices or if it's just for atm hacking so what i think we should do is go around a little bit kind of just use it on stuff see if anything happens uh it might just be again just another usb thing that we go and decrypt and then we'll hack an atm with but i figured we would kind of go around try it out at a couple places places like maybe try uh like on a bank or something i'm not sure again if this hacking kit actually does anything or if it's again just like a similar thing to the usb sticks of just a different name so uh yeah let's go head over to a bank see if we like can use it on the atms or the main bank and see if anything happens i guess uh i guess actually we're next to a next to a uh store let me just go in here real quick and just see again i don't think it's going to be actually used for anything i'm guessing it's just like similar to usb sticks if i use the hacking kit nothing happens on this if I try and use it on the registers, maybe nothing. And I'm guessing I can't just use it on the safe or anything like that. No, again, I'm going to guess this is just like a similar to the USBs, but just a different name. Maybe uh, we could go decrypt it and test that out. I want to go to a bank real quick, though, and see if I use it on like the bank teller. If anything happens, if something does happen, of course, we're just going to have to dip the second it does, because uh, again, we aren't really ready for a heist, but uh, we might as well go try it out and see if anything happens from it. Again, I really doubt it is. I'm guessing since it's made in the same exact spot that you make uh, the different USB sticks at, I'm guessing it has the same purpose. Oh, there's some freaking drag racing going on. Hell yeah. I might as well test it out and see. All 
all right let's see quickly if we use it on the atms if anything happens out here no uh, i think we have to put some money away or actually grab some money anyways so let's grab out a quick yeah 500 or so now let's try using it in here see if anything what's happens what's up what's up nope nothing yeah i don't think this is going to be used for anything uh i like the car by the way mine it's looking good i think it's sweet all right, i think what we're gonna go down is just see if we can decrypt this i'm guessing that's what it's used for again since it was made in the same spot as those usb sticks so let's go ahead over to the decrypting location uh and then let's decrypt this thing if we can again i guess we're gonna try that out again it might just be the same exact thing as the usb sticks where we go we decrypt it we hack an atm it gives us some money and some uh rolls of notes either way we should test it out since we haven't yet so i'm gonna go ahead over to the decryptor spot uh try and see if we can decrypt this and then i guess we'll go from there so i'll see you guys once we are at the secret decrypting location all righty we are at the decrypting location so let's see if using this uh hacking kit also works as the usb device because i'm guessing that's what it is i'm guessing it's just similar to that let's see probably is honestly because i believe this one was 20 so it's a little bit more than the cheapest one oh, i thought i heard someone all right, I'm going to go out of here, go somewhere else, and then we're going to check. I'm, oh, it is. Okay, hacked ATM location has been sent to you. Heard before the encryption keys change. So I'm guessing this is just the same thing as the USB device. But either way, let's go hack the uh, ATM. See if we get anything special, maybe with the hacking device instead of the USBs. And I'll meet you guys once we're at the ATM. Holy crap. You good, mate? Holy shit. Alrighty, so... We got to the worst location, PDM. Uh, there's way too many people. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way we're doing this. Uh, I guess we'll have to save it for another episode. There's no way that I'm going to go try and hit that ATM in front of literally like 20 people. That would probably be the worst thing we could do in this situation. So I think that is going to be pretty much it for this episode. I know it was a pretty short one, honestly. But uh, again, hopefully in the next one, we're ever going to be talking to Rico about the gun connect. Since again, he's in war right now. So I'm not sure if we're able to get a hold of him anytime soon. But uh, hopefully in the next episode, we will be talking to Rico though and setting up that gun connect as well as maybe starting our first trial. Uh, I have been talking to someone from the militia and I think that he might be our first trial run if he is up for the task. And if so, that means there should be a uh, quite a few videos coming Coming soon with some uh, pretty cool rp and hopefully some pretty cool trials for the people trying to join the company slash business but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh if you did please leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video